Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, I'm starting to think I probably should have actually went with uh, magic instead of a blue potion because uh, I actually get a couple of heals from Earth Heal. Those are just thoughts I have now. All right, boys. Let me get on your level. First time I ran here through here, I was just running like through bloody murder, like going, "Oh God, oh God, they're gonna kill me!" Not exactly the most useful tactic, especially if I thought they were gonna kill me. Oh God! Why? Why are there people up here? Turn around. That's right, I'm confusing your game sensors. I'm going this way, I'm going that way, I'm going this way, I'm going that way. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Put it up, 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 up. You're dead. Meanwhile, you have been bucket shots at me this entire time. I'm sick of you. I say that and I immediately miss like multiple times. That's how this whole game works. Like, you run away initially. It looks so familiar now, because so many games have actually replicated this, but when this game came out, everybody was like, so wait, 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 wait. You don't just deal with stuff, you run away like a coward, and then you hope to deal with it later? Yeah, yeah, that's how this works. That's how this has always worked. I guess I'm going in here. No, I don't need that. Ah, God, I should go back and get the magic. I should go back and get magic. I really should. They were like, you can't see what's ahead of you. You can't see what's over here. And you got all these crazy things that are trying to deal with you. Yeah, critics hated this game. Like, make no mistake when this game came out. There was no love at all, except from a huge cult fan base. That was really unfortunate that critics hated this game because they'd actually grow to love all the other stuff that ended up coming out of it. Uh, yep, 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 that's nice. But I'm going up there now. I don't appreciate being shot at. Guess how much I don't appreciate it. If your thought was quite a bit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Sorry to get another guy down there. Damn it. All right, you know, I'm going to go back and get the magic. Tracking the skeletons. <laughs> Somebody followed me that entire time? No? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get that magic because I need that a lot more than I need the blue potion. Again, some forest foresight on my Heart would have been a little bit nice, but uh, kind of get what you get whenever you deal with me. 
Is that left or right? I believe it was left. Nope. This game for the time had a huge high concept, just like, alright, yeah, I want like all the old school sort of like first person uh, RPGs, but I want to actually control it, and I want the enemies to actually react to the guy's presence rather than just sort of being there. It's okay that I actually pressed the one on this one, because it doesn't matter that much, but really did suck. Again, I'm not going to say this game's perfect. They made some awkward design choices like mapping Sprint X. That was stupid. Like, as soon as you go try to speed off past these guys, all of a sudden, eh, well, okay. Then the strafing and all the other stuff that you have to do is literally just annoying. It was as annoying back then as it is now. But it was good though. Like when I first started playing it, I was actually thoroughly impressed. Enough to actually years later start up a just finish it series so I can complete it. I've seen the end of this game. Like this was the type of game that me, my parents, kind of all agreed on that this was a good game and we all played it together. Kind of a few, very few games that are like that. Uh, Tomb Raider was like that. Uh, a couple of other games were like that. However, I myself never completed this game. It never actually got into the thing where I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally going to go over there and complete this game and it's going to be nice and it's going to be fun or anything like that. No, I just kept on doing the starting area. Like this far to this little castle thing. I swear this is like the first time I think I've ever been here. Central Village? Do you have a flask maker? I do know that there's a flask maker. I do know there is like uh, multiple things, but unfortunately there's a lot of stuff that I just I'm not aware of. I know that like at the very end what happens there, but it's kind of like hearing some of the notes when you're listening to music. It's like, uh, that's great. You heard some of the notes. Okay. That's not a good noise. I don't think that's a good noise at all. Okay, let's see how much farther we can get here before I have to turn back. End of this episode. Oh shit. You know there's a trap door. Oh. Huh. Yeah, um, I'll deal with that termite's nest in a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to walk down there right now. I can't imagine why. Alright, let's go down and actually swap out that because I don't have a blue potion anymore. It's a red potion. Yeah, sure, red. And swap in my earth heal. So basically now I have multiple heals I can actually apply to myself. Which is consistently better. Oh, hey, you're like the other guy. Permission. Sapphires disappear. Talk to you later. Get out of here. I wonder if there's a way past him. I'm sure there is a way past him, but I just don't want to kill him. I can. Yeah, that's the under 
undercurrent of all this stuff is any NPC I run across, I can just straight up bludgeon to death. And I would show you guys that, but I'm trying to actually beat the game, not go on a genocide run and kill everybody in the game. There does come points where it's actually easier to do that. Like one is uh to get the rhombus boots. Good. All right, termite nest. Yep, they're all known as termites. That's what these things are like <laughs> this entire time. This is some of the biggest, freakiest termites I've ever seen. But they get worse. I know distinctly that there's a termite queen. Yeah, hitting these guys with a uh, fireball is way easier than just trying to hit them. I actually thought that was a dead body, not a termite. Ah! Ugh. Why? 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 I am not food. Clearly. Yeah, I believe Bloodstone's a... Uh... I don't think they cure poison, but they cure a lot of other things aside from poison. So they're basically my everything else but this. And I think antidotes are the only thing that cure poison. God, man. Where is that hitbox? Come on! <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise! This tail on that thing's ass for like a while. <gasps> I know what that is. Do you have a dragon? No. Damn it. Yeah, but is there an area that. Why do you have no dragon here? There we go. I think I understand now what the truth is. No. Get back here! <laughs> this is what a termite's nest looks like, kids. Don't question it. Good news is I can actually ah, explore for a while. I don't have to, like, end the episode immediately. I can actually explore for a little while and actually jump out when I need to. Which is uh, fairly good for me now. Oh, yes. That's a full-on crystal right there. That's huge. Yeah, you get me nothing. There's no point of fighting you. Fight the ghosts. Very few points of fighting everything that I run across. Normally in RPGs, I take that uh, approach where I fight everything I run across, especially in the beginning. Like midway through, then I start to not fight as much or very little. <gasps> you know what I bet that is? It's probably back to the beginning. Uh, uh. Oh, that's my hip. Jeez. 
just uh, man this game does a great job with its atmosphere like it doesn't have like easy things to follow by any means but it makes you feel like oh god I'm under attack or I'm in danger but when I'm not in danger there we go starting to get that done all right I'm just moving around in a circle here so I'm gonna go run over here to I think where I haven't been before nice also nice Huh. Arrow. Oh, this is a bow. No. I know I haven't seen a skeleton in a while. I might have a chest, but I don't trust it. Hey! There's the queen! I found her! damage does she do? Probably truckloads. But it's okay. I have earth heal. So there's that. Woo! Yes, yeah, so basically we just walked into a boss fight. You need a bigger SD card. <laughs> when you're literally up against a thing like this and you. Oh god. Yep. This is a good thing for a bloodstone. Good thing I can basically one shot it there. Shut your babies, but damn it, they're making it hard. Oh, I do not want to get pinched by her. Uh, 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 big time damage. No, 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 no. I pressed the wrong button. Damn it! You know, coincidentally, I was actually thinking, I'm down to the last couple of seconds here, could have had to end the episode anyway. Damn it! <laughs> oh, damn it! Mmm! Right at the beginning of the Termite Queen is great. That's fantastic. Okay, guys. Great. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, share it on Facebook or the various other options that YouTube gives you, or if you're not on YouTube, and you're on Facebook and actually watching this, uh, whatever Facebook gives you. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.